it's really easy to have healthy hair if you know the rules. The only reason it seems hard is because you're trying to figure it out all by yourself and that takes forever. So today I'm gonna give you the basic no-nos in this video and all you need to do to have amazingly healthy hair is avoid these and know your hair type. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. I own a hair salon called Live Love Locks where we test out products and bring the best ones to you. I make these videos because way too many people struggle with their hair and I don't want you to be one of them. Touching your hair up is one of the most damaging things you can do to your hair. I'm talking about in the morning when you're getting ready, you touch your hair up with a flat iron or a curling iron or a blow dryer or something like that. Damage adds up really, really quickly when you do that. You really wanna give your hair at least three days rest before you put heat on it again. So when you wake up in the morning and touch it up every single time, you'll notice a ton of people have damage around the frame of their face from touching it up in the morning. Even if you just do that front section or you just do that little thing that looks weird, it's going to cause damage. When you first start out with this habit, it's no big deal. The hair still looks fine, you're doing it for a week, no big deal, you figure you just keep doing it. But the damage sneaks up on you. And you get into what I call a damage spiral. You do damage to your hair, you have to do even more heat to make it look good, which causes more damage and it just gets worse and worse and worse. And what eventually happens is you say, I can't do this anymore, my hair can't handle heat. But your hair can handle heat, just fine. It's just that you're not following the rules. You need to use a heat protectant and wait three days before using heat on your hair again. You can't touch it up every single day. And the real answer here is to style your hair in the first place in a way that it lasts for days. That way you aren't even tempted to touch it up. I know that sounds really hard, but I have tutorials on my channel. I'll show you how to blow dry for days, how to flat iron so it lasts for days, and how to curl your hair so it lasts for days. Styling your hair should never be a one day thing. If you put the time and effort into styling your hair, don't you want it to last for a couple days? It might as well. Having good hair is about working smart, not hard. The next worst thing you can do to your hair is to have naked hair. And naked hair is when you get out of the shower and you don't put any products into your hair. Your hair is like a baby. It can't take care of itself. You have to take care of it. You can't just expect it to be good on its own, just all by itself. And right now there's a bunch of 18 year olds out there watching this video saying that ah, I don't need to put anything on my hair. But I promise you, your hair is just like your skin. Eventually it's gonna fade and you're gonna need to learn to take care of it. The single most important time to take care of your hair is right after you wash it and get out of the shower. You just put conditioner in there so it's all nice and hydrated. And what happens next is going to determine if your hair stays hydrated and healthy or dries out and gets unhealthy. Everyone should have a healthy hair routine that they follow right after they get out of the shower. And it doesn't have to be super complicated but at the very least, you just need to be using a leave-in conditioner to help your hair stay hydrated. Otherwise, your hair is going to dry out, and dry hair does not like to behave. It likes to act out, and it makes it really hard to work with, it makes your life so much harder to spend a lot more time and effort on your hair. And a quick side note, I've talked to a lot of you guys who are saying that you're using a leave-in conditioner, Olaplex 6. This is not a leave-in conditioner. This is a leave-in treatment, which is completely different. Make sure that you're using a leave-in conditioner. If you want to see one of my after-shower routines, you can click this video right here. It has everything that you do need and everything that you don't need to make it super simple and easy to have healthy hair. My philosophy on hair is to use the least amount of products possible to get the results that you want. That way your hair is light, fresh, bouncy, instead of being weighed down. So in general, it's always better to use less products instead of more products. But when it comes to styling, there are certain products you absolutely must use. For instance, for blow drying, you must use a blow dry cream. This will take your style to the next level, not even close. You must use this. If you blow dry naked hair without a product in it, it has no heat protection, the texture is gonna be so much worse and you're gonna be wondering like, why is it so frizzy? Why does it look like this? Am I just not good at blow drying? So blow dry creams are not optional. Your hair needs that heat protection. And speaking of heat protection, when you're styling with an iron, you also need a heat protectant. But you don't just want any heat protectant, you want a heat protectant that actually adds to your style. It'll add hold so your style lasts longer and your ironwork will look much shinier because it adds shine. It'll also get rid of all the flyaways, makes your style look much better if you don't use this you're gonna lose. When it comes to styling, let the products do the work. Don't do all the work yourself. These products will make your hair look so much better and your style lasts so much longer. So you get better looking hair with less effort, with less time, and you get the heat protection. Super important. These are 100% worth it. Make sure not to skip these or else you're going to be disappointed by the way your hair looks and it's gonna be damaged. One of the worst things you can do is let your hair air dry and then try to style it because whatever shape your hair dries in, that's the shape it wants to keep. So if you go in with heat later, you're gonna have to fight it and use so much more heat and do so much more damage to get it to do what you want. 
Number one, you're gonna have to do so many more passes with your flat iron, which is a lot more heat. It is not good for your hair at all. You never wanna fight your hair to force it to do what you want. And even if you do win the fight and get it to be super straight, it's not gonna stay that way very long because it's always gonna be fighting to go back to the air dried shape that it was before. Ideally, what you wanna do is blow dry your hair straight first and then come in with the flat iron because you won't have to use very much flat iron at all to get it straight because it's already straight. And that style is gonna stay straight much longer because that's the shape that it dried in. Another example is a client that I was talking to the other day. What she does is she goes to sleep with wet hair, lets it air dry overnight, and then she uses a blow dry brush in the morning to get it looking good. That's an absolutely terrible idea because using a blow dry brush on dry hair is going to do a ton of damage. Blow drying wet hair is no big deal at all because it'll go in whatever shape you want. When it's wet, it's pliable, it will listen to you. But when your hair is dry, the only way to reshape it is to put a ton of heat on there. It's almost like steel. It's almost like melting the steel and then casting it and putting it into a new shape. That's the same thing that you have to do when you blow dry dry hair. You have to get it so hot that then it'll take a new shape and that causes a lot of damage. A much better option would just be to re-wet your hair in the morning and blow dry it wet and make sure you use a blow dry cream. Drugstore shampoos don't directly damage your hair, but they prevent all the other healthy hair products you're using from doing their job. And that results in your hair being much less healthy than it really should be. Cheap shampoos leave a layer of gross dirt and oil on your hair that other products struggle to penetrate. So what good are these other products? They can't actually get to your hair. They're not good. They also make it really hard to go days between washes because they never actually get the oil out of your hair so it gets dirty really quickly and being able to go days between washes is super important for having healthy hair. Every time you wash your hair you want to get it to absolute clean, 100% clean because if you don't you're just going to have to wash it again really soon because it was never clean in the first place. So the next time you see that super cheap shampoo at the grocery store, remember you're going to wash your hair with it, it's still going to have a layer of oil in it and the conditioner that you use right after is not even able to get into your hair. You might as well not even use conditioner. A lot of people are scared by the price of professional shampoo, but you really shouldn't be. It's actually not much more expensive. Number one, you only need to use a little bit because it's super, super powerful. And because it gets your hair all the way clean, you don't have to wash that often. So you're not going through it that quickly. This isn't strictly about health, but it will absolutely prevent you from having the hair of your dreams. And that is getting your hair trimmed too frequently. Most people will never be able to grow long, healthy hair if they get their hair trimmed every time their stylist wants to. You have to understand where stylists are coming from. They chose out of everything in life, they chose to do hair. And when you come in with your hair right in front of them, that's like putting a big juicy steak right in front of a lion. Their creative minds automatically start going. They're like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's kind of like giving an ax to a lumberjack and then expecting him not to cut down a tree. It's just what they do. So I want to remind you that there's absolutely nothing wrong. It is not bad etiquette at all to say, Firmly, I do not want a trim today. You are under no obligation to get a trim. You get to pick when you get a trim, not your stylist. And even if you love the length of your hair, I would still recommend that you don't get a cut every single time because it's really easy to notice your hair start creeping up and losing length. Stylists like to cut hair, that's what they do. Long story short, getting a trim is your choice. Your stylist works for you and not the other way around. So don't be pressured into it and don't fall for any of those lies like we have to trim your hair all the time to keep it healthy. Trimming your hair has nothing to do with health. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll link the products I use in the description. And if you want to use any new products, make sure to check out my recommended product list. It's also in the description. It'll walk you through everything and help you get a better understanding of your hair. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and either me or someone with the community will get back to you. I answer as many as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one.